Hello everyone, I'm Isis Cabral and during my time here at Minot State University I chose to do my undergrad with a major in art with an emphasis in graphic design as well as a minor as a fitness and wellness specialist and a concentration in social media. And so from that, I'm originally from Oxnard, California and I was brought to Minot State on a softball scholarship. I was always creative, always athletic growing up, and in attending Minot State, I managed to bridge both realms of my life. And kind of from the arts end of it, I've been taught and brought to the concept of observing everything that I see, assessing it for what it is, and as a whole, just being able to see the world in multiple lenses in the realms of my sports career here at Minot State. I have just found how much passion and grit goes into the mindset of competing. And kind of with that, both sides kind of play a big part in each other for both aspects of my life. I feel that there's been this overall cohesion and balance that grew in my time of my undergrad. And from that, it has kind of shaped my style to what it is today. And that is this kind of grunge-esque with a sense of empowerment. And at some points it could even be elegant. As odd as that may seem, with some of my pieces, it's fairly noticeable. And from that, there can be challenges with so much going on, whether it's schoolwork, athletics, balancing the both. When it comes to sitting down and actually taking part in my work, I'd say where I struggle the most is just having that creative edge because I feel like as artists, we're constantly creative a good chunk of our day and week. And in dealing with that, I know that sometimes I'll look to the other aspects of my life, whether it's the people that I'm around, the music that I listen to, whenever I struggle with just getting that creative flow going, I look to that for the inspiration. It kind of just brings me to understanding like what are the big factors of my life and my creative process. And regardless, I'm always out everywhere, always influenced by everything around me and just trying to keep the positive energy flowing throughout my day. In those moments where I struggle with creating, I'll always ask someone for an opinion, I'll always ask a professor, friend, teammate, family member, someone off the street, wherever I'm at. Pretty much the world is kind of my studio space. I don't stay locked into one zone. I'm always on the go. And with doing graphic design, that's kind of a good thing because in order to change your mind, you have to kind of change your space as well. If you're so stuck and consistent and complacent with this one aspect, you'll never be open to the new things. And I feel that with my work, it kind of is emulated through that. Each aspect of whether it is a graphic or a logo or illustration, there's this slight little flair of that grunge style that I spoke of earlier, as well as just understanding what works for the purpose. And from that, that could kind of be where my athletic side of me comes in is understanding like the purpose of something. Everything has reason, everything happens for a reason and I strongly believe in that. And that's kind of just generated me to the point of my portfolio. I wanted it to represent myself and how much I've grown and also just to show how grateful I am for everything that has brought me to where I'm at, all the experiences, the classes, the practices, everything that has gotten me to this point. Essentially, I've just grown to understanding that I can thrive in life. And as long as I'm doing what I love, I will continue to thrive. And that word resonates with me so much to where I am looking to use it as a brand for myself as well as with a couple other my friends. And we wanna utilize this as a tool and way to just present our 
creative thoughts, things that motivate us, things that help us get through for the world to use. And the Thrive brand is still in its infancy, but I can see where it'll escalate and elevate and ultimately be shared and just create designs for it that will inspire, uplift, and empower whoever views them. And with that, I would like to say thank you to whoever and all that are viewing this. I hope you enjoy my portfolio as well as the rest of the show. Have a good day.